Varl has asked to learn the differences between my people's clans, so I've been teaching him to knock the history. It is heavy with blood and death, but also with honorable deeds and vanquished tyrants. Maybe you'd like to hear about it as well, when our mission is done. I'd be honored. What do Tanakhs do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend, is surprisingly good at it. Although he has yet to beat me. It helps one think strategically. Hones the mind for tactics. Somehow that still sounds like training. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? You said you were training with the Focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. It must be strange, seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. What do you think of this place? It must take some getting used to. It's an efficient center of operations, and an acceptable training facility. Though it could use some more... color. Duly noted. Anything interesting happened while I was away? I found an acceptable place to practice with my blade. Oh, and where is that? Outside, above the base. There's a nest of sun wings that are always up for a fight. Ever thought of sparring with something that's not trying to kill you? That would defeat the purpose of the training. Found anything interesting during your training? Gaia told me where to find data on how wars were waged in the old world. I knew the Ten fought against machines, much as we do now, but it seems they were among the last of their kind. Later, machines battled other machines on behalf of greedy leaders, as they vied for lands and spoils. At least the Tanakh have the courage to put their lives on the line when conflicts arise. There is nobility in that. But maybe we just need fewer conflicts in the first place. Yes, of course. Hikaru would have it so as well. Getting Aether out of the grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaru's mission for peace is the correct path. For it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the... knowledge you recovered out in the desert. I am no chaplain, but I'd be curious to test if something I read is true. What is it? The Old Ones believed one could hear the great waters, even in the middle of the desert, if you carried the carcass of a water animal with you. They called them seashells. That sounds... kind of gross. Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. 
Yes. That's all you're gonna tell me? Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so... I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took... a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light, from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Kulrut by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile. Guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal. And never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guards said something about the Wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Root. Dekka, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings, and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess, and it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Root. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom. And the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove, and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well? I'm honored he lent me his best marshal, at least for a little while. Indeed. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing, if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with Old World machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy.
Hey, you got a second? I suppose. So do you have everything you need to build the rig and pulse generators? Gaia sent me the schematics. The designs are... modest, without the capabilities of Hephaestus, but... they should work. Not that it matters without a mega clearance. I'll find it. Just... try to have the transport ready by the time I get back. What else can you tell me about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth... She was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk. He keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but... It's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he does. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asked me how I'm feeling, and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. Yeah. I guess so. So, aside from Varl and Gaia, who else have you been talking to? Zoe told me how you met after your escape from the Hades Proving Lab. I had no idea you were severely injured. If the Zenus had killed you, life on Earth would be doomed. My escape would have been for nothing. But they didn't kill me. And thanks to Varl and Zoe, I was able to recover. You... Said you and Varl talk sometimes. What about? He told me about your tribe, the Nora, and the proving ritual you did. I told him if I was born into the tribe, I'd never be able to do the proving. It does require a lot of physical training, but there are plenty of other roles besides being a hunter. I don't think I'd be suited for any of them. Well, I guess it's a good thing you're not a Nora then. It's time for me to go. I'll check on you later. Yeah, sure. I'm telling you, the old ones put blades on their feet. And... I can 
feel this frost. Don't... Aloy, it's a long way to the coast. If you need to resupply en route, I suggest stopping in Falls Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got it. Thanks for the advice. Looks like that machine stores fluid in its tail. I wonder what it does with it. Wounded up here. Need an easy way down. I moved a little bit back. I must be stuck on something else. My focus can help me search.
could look around with my focus. Can my focus see anything? Focus might find something I missed. I think I can pull that.
There's fire gleam on those rocks. But now it should be the way for pain. Take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. See if there's a way to move it. Here we go. Oh, damn it. I'm stuck on something. I better climb up and take a look. Two wings holding up. Cables. The arms should drop the rest of the way. The thing's about to drop! Watch out! We're clear! Blood of the Ten! How'd you manage to do that? I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. But by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the ten. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. Thanks again, Outlander. Okay. I think that's it for survivors. But I didn't see Ken talk among them. I should head back to Natika. I don't know. Take off this wet. Rest now. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers are safe. But where's Kentok? I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the Chief's Guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanakh are stubborn fighters, but Kentok is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. 
I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to his squad. <laughs> He's tough as a shell snapper. Unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself. Yes. And yet he wants me to be tethered to this place. Rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with a chief's guard. You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the Chief's Guard. Is that what the Marshals are? No. The Marshals travel the breadth of the Clan lands, enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The Guard remains at the Grove to defend it and the Chief. But like the Marshals, only a handful are chosen for such an honor. So why did Kentok not want you to go? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the Grove? The Chief himself? So a mudslide did all this? Must have been quite a storm. We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. But this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. But for all this water, we still rely on the capital for our supply. Why is that? This water's poisoned by ash blood. Undrinkable as machine oil. What's ash blood? It's a red stone we gather. Our inker and scalding spear turns it into a pigment for the marks on our skin. In exchange, we get water. Every village in the clan trades with the capital for it. Food, machine parts, for us, it's ash blood. It's not exactly an exciting trade. I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see? Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him. Towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come, I'll show you. Natika, we need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Let's get a couple of soldiers posted as lookouts to start. Understood. Must be the gouge. Looks like an old mine. There's a lot of debris blocking the entrance. Kentuck got swept in there. There's something dead inside. Time to head in. Okay. Let's see where this leads. Take it easy. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, not my name. Matika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so, he made it. Good. And Natika, she came back. 
Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. <sighs> it was my mistake to deny her discharge. A soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. So... Leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out. It's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? Well, not from where I came in. There must be another source. And if I find it, and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey! I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. That waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. Coming from that vent. That end. There must be another source. He was trying to pull that. I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. Gotta find its source.
Water's coming in from there. I can use the fire gleam to break open that wall. And this whole place should flood. The raft can talks on should float right up to the top. Said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. Blade answers only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Bleeding Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done, I could join the Chief's Guard. But I have to lay him to rest first. With full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. That's where Catalo said we'd find what he needs to build himself a new arm. I should let him know I'm around. Hey, Catalo? I'm at the Zenith Lab. Ready to come over? I'm on my way. Aloy. I appreciate you meeting me here. I'm happy to help. Did Gaia mention where exactly in the Zenith Lab we'd find what you need? She mentioned the chamber where you found Beta, and the database that lies within. She said it'll help us find the knowledge and components I require to build a new arm. At least we know where to look. We will have to be quick about it, in case the Zeniths are watching. Understood. The lab's up this way. You okay? 
I got this. Machines. We're scrapping the specters for parts. Should we dispose of them? Or we can sneak past them. Your choice. That hunter killer is more powerful than a normal machine. Entrance to the lab is by that tunnel. Come on. Oh, my pack's full. I can get it for my stash later. The anime did this? Hard to believe, but yeah. Gaia said the Zeniths made incredible discoveries here. But in the end, they only used such knowledge for selfish purposes. At least now we can use it to do something good. Enemies up ahead. We better get a move on. The room we found Beta in is up ahead. Is that it down there? Yep, we better make our way down there. We're here. 
Now we just need to find a way to access the database guy was talking about. I'll wait about. here. Varl mentioned you found Beta in one of those pods. I would hate to be locked up inside such a thing. There's barely room to breathe. I think I found what we're looking for. Let's hope it holds the answers we seek. I'll download the database to your focus, so you can search through it later. What about the components? They should be somewhere on the... Spectres! Fight with honor! Don't get in the way of our mission!
no more to fire. Zenus might send reinforcements. We need to finish up and get out of here. The components should be somewhere on the second floor. I'm right behind you. We need to search the entire floor. 